fries or so. Now I'm gonna add some water. This is leftover French fries. So to a cup of French fries, I did about an equal amount of water, a cup. And we're gonna boil this for a few minutes. It says three to four minutes in the recipe until the potatoes are very, very soft. And now they're not My soft. My question is, so it's been a few minutes fries? and the potatoes are now soft enough to mush with the back of a spoon. So a little bit of that. There's some salt already on the french yeah, fries, so we don't want to add too much of this. We can always add more. My mom would always say. Okay, so this is sticking up a bit. I'm add a little bit more water. For, um, I'm going to add some pepper. The recipe says that milk or cream is optional. I'm just going to use one of these little creamers. A coffee and cream. A little cup. bit of ketchup. Oh, not ketchup. I would ideally be squeezing a packet of ketchup, but since they didn't give me any, I'm going to have to use this. So tablespoon of that or so. So that. That's not looking very appetizing. No, it's not. Speed. Yep. Let's look at that. Oh, that look looks like applesauce. Hair. I and hate applesauce machine. so bad. Doesn't look too bad. A little watered down ketchup. Not watered down yeah. ketchup though. And there we have it. French fry soup. <laughs> she can go to hell. That look nasty. It smells like a fast food joint. Yep. A little bit of oily. Ketchup yeah. bean. <laughs> That's disgusting. It doesn't look too bad though. I have to say once it was emulsified and blended with the blender, it looked a lot more attractive. Now I've got some salt and pepper here. If I need some extra seasoning, I'm gonna put a little extra pepper right on top. Okay, let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. That is surprisingly pleasant. Now y'all know she won. Look at it, look at it, gag. It is pretty thick. It could use a little bit of water, I think, to kind of make it a little bit soupier, but the flavor is very reminiscent of mashed potatoes. It has that kind of enriched potato flavor. The consistency is pretty smooth. I was expecting it to taste greasy or rancid, and it doesn't really. I'm kind of shocked. There's a little bit of tanginess from the ketchup. I can't really taste any of the ketchup flavor, but certainly you could adjust for that. I'm going to add a touch of salt to that. And just a touch more of the ramen seasoning. Just a touch. The way she's sprinkling this. It's so crazy. She, look at her. <laughs> she can't even, she can't even act like it's good. Now that I added a little bit her more of the ramen seasoning, down. it reminds me of those instant soups. You know those cup of soups that you can get, but they're just basically like potato powder. It's like cream of leek soup or cream of potato soup. That's what this tastes like. There is a kind of processed flavor to this, and I think that has to do in the fact that <laughs> this is made out of French fries, which are highly processed. And because it was seasoned with a ramen noodle flavoring pack, it gives it that processed flavor. I wouldn't say it's scrumptious or delicious, but it's not bad. Mm-hmm. This to me is way better than reheating leftover French fries. Well, she should I've have done made that. it with I've some actually tried baked potato I take the fries, soup, put I put them in the toaster oven, um, and they get too toasty, or they just taste cream, too greasy. And, and if I you put like them in a frying pan and done it that it. way. Mm. And they're just not quite the same. Sure, they're that warmed up, hit. so they're a little bit better. But, but they just taste stale. But to make them into a soup is a completely different idea and much more successful than reheating leftover fries. We made potato soup with leftover french fries, some non-dairy creamer, and some ketchup. So there you have it, an almost free meal. It's almost, almost free. free because we are repurposing fries that we already purchased already, so you get yourself a free meal out of leftover french fries. Brilliant. Tammy, I was very skeptical, but you know, it's actually not half bad. That and yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned.